All right, so we're off to the races. We're going to do our first direct object exercise. Now, I may use this uh, exercise again. In fact, I will to find indirect objects, but we're just going to focus on the direct objects. And since I didn't give you a sheet of paper ahead of time, make sure you have one out. We'll do the first 10, then pause, then I'll show you the second 10, do those, and then I'll go through the answers. So for now, do numbers 1 through 10, hit the pause. All right, you're back. There come the answers. All right, first thing I want to do, oh, what was that? There we go. First thing you want to do is make sure you find your verb. So our reading is your verb. You is your subject. So you're going to ask the question, what are you reading? The answer to that question is going to give you the direct object, and that's going to be book. However, notice there is a second verb here in gave. Every action verb could have an object. Okay? But you're not giving you. You're giving the book to you, so you're safe. That one doesn't have an object. Number two, I mailed, etc., etc. Ask the question. Remember, plus the verb. Who or what plus the was and the verb. What, who or what was mailed? That would be the gift. That's your direct object for number two. Number three, Juanita sent. Who or what was sent? That Easter card. Number four, would you like a drink with your sandwich? What would you like? Who or what would you like? A drink. That's your direct object there. Number five, please send me a copy of the letter. What's your subject? Send is your verb. Oh, understood you. You'd be writing it out here somewhere. Understood you is your subject. If you make an error here, that's why you forgot that. Send is your verb. What are you sending? You're sending a letter. Number six, the flight attendant offered. Who or what did she offer? Well, she offered drinks and snacks. Compound D-O. Remember, anything can be compounded. Number seven, what are you going to buy? There, to buy is working weirdly. Our going is the predicate. To buy kind of gets added in there to ask the question for the direct object. But you're going to be buying plates and napkins. To buy isn't a verb there, but it's part of... No, it's a level of grammar I don't really want to get into right now. Ask me some questions and I will. It's called the infin it's, a, it's an object of an infinitive. There, look that up. Number eight, the dog chased. What did it chase? Well, it chased its tail. Number nine, please hand me the pitcher of orange juice. Handing, who's doing the handing? Hand is the verb. You are, understood you. You hand what? Or who? You're handing the pitcher, direct object. And finally, number 10, you've given Janice your answer. You as a subject have given as your verb. Who or what have you given? The answer. All right, pause it. Oh, sorry. Let me scroll down 11 through, oh, it's only 15. 11 through 15, pause it, do those five, and come back. Freeze. All right, here we go, answers. 11, why don't you tell us a story? Do tell is the simple predicate. Remember, we don't include the unt of not. What are we going to tell? Well, we're going to tell a story, son. Number 12, story direct object. Number 12, what did Aunt Maria bring? Aunt Maria subject, brought predicate. Aunt Maria brought a souvenir. Now, along the line here, if you've been getting other things besides that I'm giving you, what I've been giving you as the answers, that means you're getting the, probably the indirect objects, okay? And when we come back to this Less than a second time, you'll see that. Number 13, told predicate, driver subject. What did the driver tell? Well, he told his version. Number 14, please offer blah, blah, blah. Please, that should send off a little bell. Understood you as a subject. Offer is the predicate. What are you offering? Condolences. And number 15, Lester Lone Miranda sweater. What did Lester Lone? A sweater, direct object. All right, I'm going to erase this. We're going to come back to this, and we're going to do the indirect object. Pause it here, and if you want to come back and do the indirect object exercise part of it now, or hold on and do it a little later, that's fine. But I'm not going to record a whole new video for this. All right, so let's quit it. Do not save it. Let's, where did you go, fella? Let's start it back up. Okay. <clears throat> number one, has no indirect object. Number two, I mailed. What did I mail? A gift. Now remember, we're finding indirect objects. Who did I mail that gift to? My brother. Brother is the indirect object. Gift is the direct object. Number three, Juanita sent. What did she send? An Easter card. Who did she send that card to? Her teacher. 
Oh, see how easy it is? I bet you it's clicking. Teacher is the indirect object. Would you like, or you would like a drink? What would you like? A drink. There's no indirect object because there's nowhere for that drink to go. Number five, please send me a copy of the letter. What are you sending? A copy. Who are you sending that copy to or for? Me. Me is the indirect object. Number six, the flight attendant offered passengers drinks and snacks. Attendant offered is your subject predicate. What did she offer? Drinks and snacks. Direct object. Who did she offer them to? The passengers. Indirect object. I hope it's clicking. Number seven, you are going to buy plates and napkins, etc., etc. Plates and napkins, if we remember, was a direct object. Those plates and napkins aren't going anywhere, so this one does not have an indirect object. Number eight, the dog chased its tail. What did the dog chase? Its tail. There is no indirect object because the tail isn't going to or for somebody. Also, remember that the indirect object always has to come between the verb and the direct object. So this is direct object. This is the verb. For the indirect object to exist, it would have to be between these two words. Okay? Number nine, please hand me the picture of orange juice. What are you handing? Picture. That is your direct object. Who are you handing that picture to or for? Me. And finally, ten, you have, well, me is the indirect object. You have given Janice your answer. You as a subject have given as the verb. What have you given? An answer. That's the direct object. Who have you given that answer to or for? Janice is your indirect object. Okay, we'll scroll down to here, freeze it, find the indirect objects for those five, and then unfreeze it for the answers. All right, 12. Aunt Maria brought, what did she bring? A souvenir. Oh, geez, Louise. Well, let's do 12 since I'm doing it already. A souvenir. Who did she bring that souvenir to or for? Me, indirect object. Number 11. You is the subject. Do tell is the verb. What are you telling? A story. That's your direct object. Are you telling that story to or for anyone? Yeah, you're telling it to us. Indirect object. 13. The driver told the officer his version of the accident. Driver told. What did he tell? A version. Direct object. Who did he tell that version to or for? The officer. Indirect object. Number 14. Offer Cousin Tina my condolences. Understood you as the subject. Offer is the verb. What did they offer? Condolences. Direct object. Who do they offer those condolences to or for? Tina. Indirect object. And finally, Lester loaned Miranda a sweater. What did Lester loan? A sweater. Direct object. Who did he loan that uh, sweater to or for? Miranda. Indirect object. Bam! You have it now. I know you do. I bet you 90% of you, I would hope the whole 100%, are clicking with this. All right, we are done. We will move on to some uh, more practice and then a couple new compliments. Asta.